Robert, you have a story uh, shared with one of your colleagues today, Ted Cruz, the Tea Party Republican senator from Texas. Remember, he's a freshman senator. He's a junior senator on just about every committee he's on. But listen to Ted Cruz talking about after the election. Number one, he won't commit, Robert, to supporting Mitch McConnell, assuming Mitch McConnell wins re-election in Kentucky. He won't even commit to supporting him for majority leader. And then he says this. He wants Republicans in the Senate, if they have that power, let's start looking at the abuse of power, the executive abuse, the regulatory abuse, the lawlessness that sadly has pervaded this administration. He means the Obama administration. Right. He wants to repeal. Is Ted Cruz going to be uh, to Mitch McConnell what the Tea Party guys in the House have been to John Boehner and prevent him or at least complicate getting anything done? Certainly. And Mitch McConnell tomorrow may win a new title. He may be majority leader of the United States Senate, but he also will win some new headaches. And if he wins that new title, he enters uh, having a majority but he has a majority full of Tea Party voices that want to have a more aggressive agenda. While he may want to do some more compromise uh, with, in, in divided government, it's going to be a, a, a tough situation for him to deal with. Not only that, he has a bunch of mini presidential campaigns that are <laughs> going to be running out of the Senate. People like Ted Cruz, people like Rand Paul. It's, a, it's, a, it's about the Senate, but it's also about uh, their ambitions. Marco Rubio, maybe Rob Portman yep. as well. A lot of Republicans thinking about I don't think Rob Portman's going to cause too much trouble. <laughs> Not right, too much. Yeah. If, he's running, if you're running for president, you never know. Let's get this one in, too. Joe Biden, the vice president, also looking past the election a bit, in an interview here with CNN's Gloria Borger. He says, let's be clear, he says he believes the Democrats will hold their Senate majority. But if not, listen to Joe Biden here saying, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe Republicans will try to get things done. Going into 2016, the Republicans have to make a decision whether they're in control or not in control. Are they going to begin to allow things to happen? Or are they going to continue to be obstructionists? And I think they're going to choose to get things done. See how that plays out. See if the White House Alice is not happy with him talking so nicely about the Republicans the day before the election. But we'll see how that works. And I know you're going to be up late tonight studying. So here's the Georgia Senate race. If you want to use work, how do I hold it up here? There we go. CNNMagicWall.com if you want one of these of your own. I'll tilt it up so you can see it. You can play along with me at home tomorrow night or you can, you know, decide you're a little faster and smarter than me, which most of them, <laughs> most people watching probably are. <laughs> I do like the home version. I am studying along at home. But of course, we will rely on your magic um, pad there. It's a, great, it's a great tool if you want to play along at home. You'll get live results just as fast as we do. Okay, fantastic. Thanks, John. And of course, be sure to tune in to CNN tomorrow for complete election night coverage. It starts at 5 p.m. Eastern, and we will see you here. We have all angles covered.